The last few weeks have seen flooding overwhelm dozens of communities across southern Minnesota. Wyndham and Jackson, it's turned into a crisis greater than they'd seen in years. But according to both cities, that crisis has brought everyone together. Sophia Jernander takes us there. Several weeks ago, southern Minnesota was overwhelmed by historic levels of rain and flooding. The crisis has stopped, but for many communities, the road to recovery will be long and hard. They're obviously in recovery mode. You can still see like a lot of the brown in the area, and it's, it's definitely left its imprint on our community. Um, it's going to be that way for a while. The city of Wyndham sits over the Des Moines River. And when this river flooded, the whole community was sent into chaos. We had a significant uh, rainfall event that kind of kept adding to itself. And then that kind of started the whole process with stormwater flooding. That then rose the level of the lake and that made those homes flood. That had a domino effect as the flooding in Wyndham was sent down the river to Jackson. The water was coming up significantly faster than anybody had pr uh, predicted. But the crisis had a silver lining. According to both cities, it brought their communities together. There were approximately 48,000 sandbags that got placed in the community. The vast majority of those were on private property and were done by volunteers in the community. Southern Minnesota isn't out of danger yet. Although the rain has stopped, it will take weeks for things to truly get back to normal. But the response from Wyndham and Jackson proves that this has brought about a true sense of community. And in the end, no one was left to weather the storm alone. The response has been overwhelming. Like it was, uh, if there's anything positive that can come out of a disaster, it's how our community came together. Sophia Jernander, KEYC News.